that's kind of like a small, small condo or something like that. Not a house. Houses typically in this area start around 300,000, typically 400,000 in Myriad and Temecula and go all the way up into, you know, the millions if you're in Temecula. Okay, so original APR is 4.18%, one point with a 2.0% discount. Hang on for a second. People are, oh, there we go. That's Kayla. Okay, so believe it or not, you can buy down your interest rate. The lower the interest rate on a home loan, the less you pay per month. Okay, so it is possible to buy down the interest rate, and they're called points. So what we want to do first is figure out how much does it cost to buy down the interest rate? Because the lower the interest rate, the lower you pay overall. All right, so let's start off with this. Okay, this is one point with a 2% discount. So one point here, we'll start basic here, is equal to 1%, okay? Which happens to be 0 0.01 as a decimal. Well, that's the first thing you have to know, 1.1%. 1 .1%. Now let's figure out the cost of the loan first, because that's the that's what they want you to do, figure out the cost of the points. And it says each point costs 1% of the loan amount. So we got to calculate 1% of the loan amount. So here we go. Okay. So I'll model the first one and maybe the second one. Then I'm going to get everybody involved here. I'm going to go around the room. So the cost of the loan is one point, okay, one point of the purchase price. So we got to calculate 1%, which is 0.01 of 280,000. Here we go. So 280,000. Okay, okay, everybody start working on that. Like I said, you're gonna help me out with the arithmetic here and I'll help explain the, the different terminology of, of, of the lesson here. Cause this is all brand new to you guys. You've never bought a house before. Okay, so Valentina, can you help me out with that? What's 1% of 280,000? 2,800. Okay, so here we go. So it's going to cost you, if this was you here, $2,800 to bring down the interest rate from 4.18%, uh, from okay, uh, down, okay? So one point with a 2.2% discount. So this is important here too. So let me highlight this. Okay, it costs $2,800 to get a, to get a, well, Hang on for a second here, and let me change colors. Uh, it costs twenty eight hundred dollars to just bring it down by two tenths of a percent. Now it doesn't sound like much, but when you're talking about a house that's in the hundreds of thousands, and when you pay for this thing over thirty years, that turns out that 02 percent turns out to be a big savings, and and that's what you have to realize, and that's the whole essence of the lesson because we're going to figure all that out. So here we go. Let's calculate the new APR. So the new APR. Okay, so the, the old APR, we're give the old APR is 4.18%. If we pay $2,800, we're going to bring it down two tenths of a percent. So what we need to do is take our original APR of 4.18% and subtract, okay, the discount, which is two tenths of a percent. Okay, and all you have to do is subtract those two values. So you enter in 4.18% here and you subtract two tenths. Make sure you type in 0.2 or two tenths of a percent and it's gonna bring the interest rate down, which is gonna save you money. So if you pay $2,800 up front, it's gonna bring the interest rate down to 3.98%. Okay, so 3.98%. This is the new APR. Now the question is why, you know, why would you do that? And so what you have to understand is that when you, when you pay for a home, an expensive home in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, which that's what they are typically, uh, bringing down the interest rate is an important thing because the lower the interest rate, the less you're gonna pay over time. And when you're paying over 30 years, which is 360 months, the savings that you uh, have per month will add up big time. Okay, so you have to get the use of the lingo, one point equals 1%. And then they have to tell you what the point gives you in terms of the discount. And it's gonna change uh, as we go through the problem. So let me model one more time here uh, because uh, part B deals with two points, C three points and so on. So you gotta modify it slightly, but this is the idea. Okay, so let's go through one more example here before I get you guys involved and have you try it on your own. And you guys jump in with questions as you go. Okay, don't wait. If I'm not making sense, you got to speak up, okay? 
So in this one here, we have a new loan amount of 350,000. APR is 2.95%, but here we're dealing with two points. Okay, so we start off with this. So two points now, okay? Now two points is 2%. It's gonna cost us 2% of the loan value, which is 0 0.02 as a decimal. So you always wanna take the points that you're working with here and to figure out the cost of the loan, you wanna take your points, convert it to a percentage, and then uh, you multiply it by the loan amount, which in this case is 350,000. So let's work on the cost first. Let's see how much it's gonna cost us for reducing our interest rate if we want two points, okay? Which costs us two points. So we're gonna calculate 2% or 0 0.02 of the loan amount, which happens to be 350,000. I'm gonna go just go around the room, ask you guys to help me out with the calculations here. So get ready to, to offer uh, your calculations here. And Justin, you can help me out with this one here whenever you're ready. The cost alone is 2% of the loan amount, 350,000. So what does it cost us on this one to reduce the interest rate? 7,000. That's right. So if we pay 7,000 bucks, we can reduce the interest rate. So let's calculate the new APR. Now the old APR in the problem, let's, it's right here, it's 2.95%. Now two points with a, it says right here, and let's, this is the key part. It says 0.275% discount per point, per point. Okay, so we want, uh, we, we want two points, okay? We wanna reduce it using two points. So what we have to do is take the old APR of 2.95%, so 2.95% and subtract two, uh, two times the 2.75 because it says per point, that's the key one right there. So one point, we can get a discount or we can reduce it, okay, reduce it, decrease it by 2.75%. But if we want two, we got to multiply it by two, all right? So take two times the 0.275% and we'll get our new APR because we we want two points worth, okay, not one, but two. So let's go to Desmos here and let's, all you do is type it in. You start off with your, your old APR. Okay, so you start off with 2.95 and then subtract, right, two times the, the percentage discount per point. Okay, and you guys finish up that calculation. Haven, you can help me out with this one if you could. What's, what's 2.95 minus the two times 2.75? We're gonna pay two points worth and we're gonna reduce it down uh, the, the old interest rate or the old APR by 2.75% per point. There you go, 2.4%. So I'll finish up here. So 2.95 minus two times uh, the 0.275 and that'll give you 2.4%. All right, so, so the new interest rate is 2.4%. So what happens in this situation here, if you want, if this was you, you're paying, uh, you wanna buy a house that's cost $350,000, you would have to take a loan amount on uh, for 2.95% without buying it down, okay? That's what it would be with no points. But with the points, if you wanna buy down the interest rate, you would have to pay $7,000 upfront in the beginning, all right, to, to get that discount and you subtract the two times the, the discount rate, which is 2.75% uh, to get the new APR. So you could factor that over time, over 30 years, and you'd have a lower monthly payment just by paying $7,000 up front. And it sounds like a lot, but remember, this is a home loan. This is a, that's a $350,000 loan over 30 years. So bringing down the interest rate would be huge as you're gonna find out in the examples. Okay. Let me, so let me have you guys try this one here. So get ready here. Uh, we got to do the same sort of thing here on this one, though. We got an expensive house. It's a $600,000 house. We know the APR, the original APR is 4.6%, but this time we want three points instead of two points. But each point is going to cost us, um, or to reduce it, to discount it by 0.225%, uh, we have to we got to factor that in for three points. So let's go through the, the thought process here. We want to do, we want to pay it down. We're using the three points on the loan. 
which is three point or three percent or 0 0.03. Let's figure out the cost. Okay. So Shannon, help me out on this one here. We'll just move around the room and get you guys involved a little bit here. How do we figure out the cost? It's um, point. Uh, point zero three times six hundred thousand. Okay, so when you're ready, let's let me know what that is. It is eighteen thousand. There you go. So if we pay eighteen thousand dollars up front, we can buy down the loan, meaning buy down the interest rate. Okay, so let's figure out the new APR here. If we pay three points worth to to reduce the interest rate here. Okay. APR that is. Okay, let me work with Natalie a little bit here. How would we calculate the APR on this one? If the original APR is 4.6% and we're gonna buy down this uh, interest rate. You would just do 4.60 minus 0.225 times three, and there then you you'd get 3.925. Okay, so let me repeat what you said. Very good. So 4.6%, the, the old APR, minus three times, okay, because we're using three points worth and it's 0.225% per point. The keyword is per point. So three times 0.225%. And could you help me out again? Would you repeat your end result there? I got 3.925. There you go. Okay, so in this case, thank you. Uh, if we pay $18,000 up front in the beginning of the loan, you would change the APR or reduce the APR from 4.6% to 3.925. Now, believe it or not, Ainsworth did this just a few months ago. I refinanced my house to a lower interest rate, but in order to do that, I had to pay money up front. And uh, it was an important thing because when you reduce your interest rate over 30 years, on a, on a house that's in the hundreds of thousands, we're talking about a big savings overall, okay? So this, this sort of thing is done all the time. Like I said, I did it just a few months ago when I refinanced, okay? All right, uh, let's see, next one here. Let's see, let me get Mateo involved, okay? So uh, we got a $450,000 house, APR is 3.75. Here, one point, we're only gonna do a one point with a 0.3% discount. So this one's fairly straightforward. So one point or 1%, one point. Okay. Uh, Mateo, how do we calculate the cost of reducing the interest rate uh, with one point? Uh, 0 0.01 times 450,000. Okay. And what are you coming up with on that? 4,500. There you go. Okay, so if we if we pay $4,500 or yeah, $4,500, we can reduce the interest rate uh, by 0.3%, all right, per point, okay, per point. So Rebecca, how would we calculate the new APR in this one? I did 3.75 minus 0.3. Yeah, just minus 0.3 because we're dealing with one point only. And what'd you get on that? 3.45. There you go. So if you, and that's percentage. So if you pay $4,500 up front, you can bring down the interest rate. And believe it or not, that little decrease adds up to a lot of money over time, as you're going to find out. We're actually going to do the calculations. Okay, we're on a roll. So let's keep it going here. Um, huh. Tristan, take the next one here. What's going on here? How many points are we working with in Part E? Okay, so what percentage is that? What's two points as a percentage? Okay, and as a decimal? Okay, and how do you figure out the cost of the loan? Okay, and oh, this is a more expensive house. Okay, what'd you get for that? 40, yeah, 40,000. 40, and you know, if you can afford a $2 million house, you can probably afford 40,000 up front because no one buys a $2 million house without having a lot of money in the bank and without having a huge salary per year. So it sounds like a lot of money, but if you're, if you're making, or if you can afford that kind of house, which I cannot, okay, not on a teacher salary, uh, you can afford buying down the loan. Okay, so let's figure out the new APR. Okay, let's, uh, let's get some other people involved here too. 
All right. Colson, help me out a little bit here. I haven't talked to you in a while. How are you doing? I'm doing good. All right. Playing any uh, cornhole or ping pong or horseshoes? Uh, not too much lately. <laughs> okay. Well, that's okay. I haven't either, actually. I've been too busy. Uh, how do we figure out the new PR uh, if we're going to use two points to buy down this interest rate? Uh, you do the old APR, so 3.55%, and mm -hmm. then minus two times the uh, the two, the point two three five. Okay. Did were you able to do that yet? Yeah, I got three point zero eight. All right, good man. Thank you. All right, and so that's the new PA APR. So <laughs> I know this sounds a little crazy because you guys have never bought a home before because you're too young, but if you're if you want to buy a two million dollar house which is gonna cost a lot, a lot of money over 30 years. It's probably gonna be about $5 million over time, about 5 million uh, to buy that house. If you pay $40,000 upfront in the beginning, you can go from 3.55% APR down to 3.08, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually is when you do the calculations over time. And we will here in a minute, we're gonna, there's a couple problems where we actually do that. Okay, so let's pause here. Uh, give me some feedback. Uh, thumbs up. Yes. Uh, when you buy points, you can't have back towards the loan of the house or you're just buying points? You're just buying points. So you got to factor that. That's either cash out of pocket. Uh, you can. There, it is possible sometimes to factor that $40,000 back into the loan. So you're paying that back over time. But if you do that, then you're paying more than $40,000 because there's going to be interest on that. So over 30 years, that 40,000, if you do that, would equate to probably 100,000. So people usually have that cash in the bank and you just basically give that to the bank. It buys down the interest rate and then you, you finance only 2 million, not the 2 million 40,000. Did I answer your question? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, now let's get into uh, another application problem. Okay, and this is where we're going to have to get do some side work here. So get ready for that. So get some extra paper out. Like I said, when I did when I worked through these problems here, it took me like three pages worth. Uh, it was is a lot more involved than I thought. Okay, number two. This is a key problem right through here. Uh, number two and three are related. So if you understand two, you can probably do. Uh, number, well, they're related. So yeah, so these two are similar. Okay, Juanita here wants to buy a, or take out a 15 year. Whoa, this is a short home loan, guys. $350,000 loan. Typically loans are 30 years, not 15. If you're making a lot of money and you can afford a, uh, a higher monthly payment, then you would do a 15 year. Uh, but that's, that's only if you're making a pretty good income per month. And then uh, the APR is 3.4%. She is not sure as to whether or not she should purchase points to reduce the loan uh, APR. If she purchases two points, it will be decrease her APR to 0.125% per point, okay? And that's, that's important, so we should probably underline that. So it would reduce or decrease the APR by 0.125%. That's one eighth of 1% per point. The, the words per point is important here. And then it says each point will cost her 1% of the loan, as I said earlier. So one point, okay, equals 1% of the loan. That's the cost, okay? So when, when mortgage people, the bank people, when you go into a bank and you start working on something like this, when they talk points, they're talking percentages. I know it sounds kind of weird, but that's what it, it's just, it's just a percentage. So each point will cost 1% of the loan, compare her monthly payments with and without the purchase of the points. Ah, so we're going to have to co compute a monthly payment. So let's, let's put that in red, compare her monthly payments. We need the monthly payment formula. So this is a big problem. Okay. Okay. So here we go. 15 years. What we do, need to do first is we need to figure out how many months that is. Okay, so over off to the right, 15 years. Okay, can you guys help me out with that? How many months is that? You can either turn your mics on online or you can just speak up, one of the two. Mm -hmm. 
don't know if you guys heard that online, but 15 times 12 is 180 months. So I always figure that out first. You know me, I always figure out the number of months because that's the exponent in the monthly payment formula. So 15 year loan, look at it. It says it's a 15 year, $350,000 loan. All right, so let's, let's split this up into two categories. We got the old APR, okay, or the original APR. So the APR of, it says up here, oh, it's right here, 3.4%. 3.4%. And then we have the new APR if we buy down the loan. Okay, so we're going to buy down the loan. Uh, uh, it says right here, it will cost, uh, she wants two points and it will decrease through, uh, the APR by 0.125% per point. Okay, so we got to calculate the new APR. So let's do that first. This is why number one was so important because we have to calculate the new APR now. Okay, so the old APR is 3.4%. If we, uh, it says if she purchases two points, look at this. If she purchases two points, not one point, but two points, what's the new APR? So I need help on that. Mm -hmm. Alyssa, can you help me out on that? Use the skills like in number one, what we did here in number one parts A through E on this one right here. Can you help me out to figure out how to calculate the new APR? Yeah, I can. Um, so give me a second to write it down so I don't forget it. That's okay. You can just talk uh, as you're writing, you just go ahead and talk as you uh, write and you can, I'll do the same and we can calculate this together here. The old APR is 3.4%. She wants to purchase two points uh, and each point's gonna cost her 0.125% or it's gonna reduce, excuse me, gonna reduce 0.125%. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, so you take the old APR, which would be the 3.4, like you said, and then you subtract um, two and then multiply it by the new APR, which is um, 0.125. Okay, so if you take 3.1 or 3.4% minus two times the 0.125%, what what's the new APR there? It'd be 3.15. There you go. Thanks. All right. There you go. So she's got, we got the new APR now. Okay. So the old APR was 3.4%. The new APR is going to be 3.15%. And now what we need to do is calculate the monthly payments on each of these. So here we go. This is the big deal. Okay. Now the loan amount it's 15 years, got that down 180 months. Uh, and we're talking about a $350,000 loan. Okay, that's the principle. So here we go. So the monthly payment M, okay, which we typically use, and we're gonna use the monthly payment formula here on a $350,000 house. We gotta multiply by R divided by N, so 0 0.034 divided by N. By the way, what's N in here? What's, we're, these are monthly payments. So what does N have to be for all monthly payments? It's 12, and it's 12, so you might want to write that down somewhere. We're talking about monthly here, so N is always 12. It's not daily. If it was daily, N would be 365. If it was quarterly, N would be 4, but this is monthly. So when you're using the monthly payment formula, you're going to divide the APR by 12 because we're dealing with 12 months per year times 1 plus 0 0.034 divided by 12 raised to the Raised to what power? Can you guys help me out with that? What power? It's to the NT power here, but what is, what should the power be? And anybody online could jump in here too. Oh, there we go. You guys reading the chat here too? We got people in the chat running through here. So we raise it to the NT power, N is 12, and then T is 15. 15 times 12 is 180. So we're going to raise that to the 180th power. So Rebecca, Alyssa, and Sierra, you guys raising it to the 180th power here. 
Okay, again, it's always to the number of months. Okay, divide that by one plus 0 0.034 divided by 12 to the 180th power, and then don't forget to subtract one. Okay, now this is a Desmos deal here. So go ahead and start working on that, you guys. So type in 350,000. Make sure you put the right number of zeros in there, okay? It has four zeros times 0 0.034 divided by 12 times one plus 0 0.034 divided by 12, okay? Let's raise that to the 180th power because it's 15 years or 180 months. And then you got to divide that by one plus 0 0.034 divided by 12 raised to the 180th power. And right there, I'm not done yet here. You guys finish up the calculation here. And this number is, it's under, it's under $3,000 per month. Let me just say that. Can you guys go to the chat on this one here and let me know what you're coming up with here? Let me just see what the class is coming up with. And then afterwards, I'll finish the calculation in Desmos and we'll get a, a more appropriate answer because that answer is not appropriate, okay? Need everybody to comment on yours. Go ahead and put it in when you're ready. If you get a different number than Rebecca, put in your your monthly payment. So, where was it, uh, Rebecca? Let me know where it was. I put four, three instead of three, four for the APR. You know, I do that all the time. Yeah. That happens to me all the time. In fact, I, I think I'm, something's going on with me as I get older, because I've been doing the switch routine, the dyslexic thing all the time. And so I, when I get wrong answers, I always look for that because I mix up the digits all the time. Okay. So uh, don't worry about it. So here we go. So in fact, you know, right now, what's going on with mine here? There's something wrong with my calculation here. What in the world is it? There we go. I forgot the decimal. I didn't even see that. Okay, so you guys are correct up there. Uh, so $2,484 and roughly 94 cents. Okay, so let's. that's your first monthly payment. So $2,894.94. This is per month now. That's with an interest rate of 3.4. Now, as I said earlier, it doesn't sound like a lot to reduce it down to 3.15%. You know, when people look at those percentages, 3.4 versus 3.15, they don't think naturally that this makes a whole big deal. But watch what happens. Okay, let's recalculate it with a new APR. Now, so let's let's set it up again. So the new one, it's the same equation, obviously. So just basically replicate it, but again, your APR has changed. So 0 0.0315 divided by 12. Hey guys, uh, is, is my screen big enough for you guys to see? My writing and everything, is that big enough? Okay, I just wanna make sure. Uh, times one plus 0 0.0315 divided by 12 to the 180th power. Just repeat the same formula, but change your interest rate. And then when you do this on Desmos, what you do is I usually just copy paste. So if you look at my screen right now, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna highlight the entire formula, copy it. And then I'm gonna go down to the next line. I'm gonna paste it in. This is what I did uh, when, usually do when I'm working through these things. And it will help you speed up your testing, by the way. If you copy paste your formulas and just modify your interest rate, like I'm doing right now, I'm gonna go into the interest rate with my cursor here and just change it to 0 0.0315. And you just change your interest rate because you already got your formula up there. So you might as well just use it over and over again. 
That's what usually what I do. And if you have to change the number of months, you can do that easily too. We'll do that on certain problems here. But notice that the, the monthly payment went down, okay? And it should go down because when the interest rate goes down, the monthly payment goes down. And that's why people buy down uh, their interest rate is because you're going to be saving money over time. Uh, wouldn't their principal be smaller too? Or not, the, but their loan, I mean. Say it again. Wouldn't their, the loan, because it's costing their loan. So would the three, 350,000 be less as well? Or is that not how that works? Or am I misunderstanding what's going on? So you're talking about the cost of buying down the interest rate? Right. Okay, so the cost is, it's gonna cost us 2% of the 350,000. So it's gonna cost, if we figured out the cost, it doesn't ask us in this problem, but if we figured out the cost, it would be 2% of 350,000. You know what that is, Mateo? Uh, 7,000, I think. That's right. Now, if we were going to do this, if we we're going to buy down the interest rate, it would cost us $7,000 out of pocket up front. So we'd have to have that cash in the bank. Right. And, and then we'd pay that, we just hand them over $7,000. And then we, and then we can go from 3.4% to 3.15%. And we can uh, reduce our monthly payment to $2,442 and it looks like 37 cents. So we have a savings per month here. The question is, is like, after how long does it take to, to break even and, and to profit from this? Because we spent $7,000 initially. So the question is, is like, when do we actually start? We get all their money back because we're saving money every month, right? In fact, mm -hmm. let's figure that out just for funsies here. Let's figure out our monthly savings. It doesn't ask us this, but we're going to need this in number three anyways. So let's do it. So you guys work on this right here. Take our monthly payment uh, at 3.4% and take the other one and subtract and let's figure out our savings. So 28, 94, 94 minus the 24, 42, 37. Did you guys work on that? How much are we saving per month to, to do this? Because you wouldn't do it unless you're saving money. All right, it wouldn't make any financial sense to do something like this because it costs money up front, costs us seven grand, all right? What would that be? What would the savings be per month? Anybody can jump in here. Okay, so now you guys agree with Natalie here? Did you guys subtract? So 4257 per month. Okay, so tell you agree. So 40, it's a monthly savings of 4257. This is monthly savings here. And so, you know, we're doing this for, for 180 months. And if you take, let's just see this right here. So if you take uh, 4257 and multiply it by 180, because this is a 15 year loan, you're going to be saving $7,662.60 overall. Um, so, I got, for that one, I got. 4,000, or not, sorry, I got 452.57. Uh, it's but probably just a, a, a digit error. So let me, let me check. So 28.94.94 minus the, the lower monthly payment of 24.42.37. Yeah, so 20, what the heck? Oh, I misread my handwriting. So 2,494. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I wrote, Mateo, I wrote down, this is incorrect here, so let me fix it. Oh, so the wrong, right. okay. Uh, yeah, it's 2,490. Kayla, is this what you're saying? Oh, 2,484, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, answer is a little crazy here. So 2,484 and then 94 okay. cents. Okay, so yeah, so 24, let me change this here. There we go. So what happened here? 2484. See, this is what happens. You got to input the right numbers here. So 4257 and then multiply that by 180. Mateo, I apologize. I just 
I didn't write down the right, correct monthly yeah, payment. So it would make sense. You, you would get your money back uh, over time. The question is, when would you get the money back? The, I'm talking about the 7,000 over the life of the loan. When would you do that? When would that happen? And when would you really be saving money per month? Because overall, at the, the total life of the loan, you would get your money back. The question is, is when? And believe it or not, that's a question in uh, the next next few problems. So, um, but we're, so even if we bought those purchase points, they're still going to pay, they're still going to give me a monthly payment as if I loaned $350,000. Yeah. Yeah. It's based upon that. Cause again, you paid up front. They don't put it into the loan, which I, they, there are, there are, I guess it is possible to do that. Um, I would just think that they would you, take it out of the loan. Like, oh, I'm paying $7,000. So let me just take that out of your loan that I'm giving you. Oh, there's a misconception. So it doesn't take it out of the loan. That's the cost of it. That's a flat. That doesn't affect the principal of the loan at all. That's okay. on top. Of, that's on top of the loan amount of three hundred fifty thousand. So you have to pay back. The oh, okay. 000. So it's not okay. So they're just using the. Okay, I get it now. I get that's it, just I get a flat it. out addition. It's an additional cost over the okay. loan amount. Okay. Cool. That makes sense. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And that's why it's so important to speak up and ask questions. Are you guys? Are we good on that? Because those were good. Good questions on his point. Online, are we good, you guys? Okay. All right. Okay, so number three is similar to number two. So I'm gonna give you guys that one on your own. Okay, it says, how much will the monthly savings be? That's what we just did right here. So what you guys are gonna have to do is calculate the monthly payments and subtract. So let's write that down, just a little note, and you guys can do that later. So calculate monthly payments, okay, and subtract, that's all you do. And again, this is similar to number two. So if you understood number two, number three should be doable. Okay, so you gotta calculate two monthly payments, subtract the two, and that would be your savings. And I tell you guys, this is the, um, <clears throat> this is the last lesson of the year. And of course, you know, I always do all the key problems with you guys in class, but if you guys need help on your work, on the ones that you're working on, of course, come into intervention between 1 and 3 p.m. in the after school. I'll be happy to help you out, okay? Uh, whether, you're, whether it's a Tuesday, Thursday, or not, you can always just, you know, message me and we can always get together. Just keep that in mind. Okay, uh, number four. Okay, number four is going to be on your own, too. I'm, gonna, I'm only going to select the big problems here to do with you guys. We're going to skip number five and number 10, I think. So let's go on the back page. Now, number six is a is a big big one here. So we got to do number six together. <clears throat> okay. Do, 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 do. Number six. Okay, let's go through all of this step by step and let's do it off to the side. Okay, so on this one here, the Bedford Shore Credit Union <laughs> offered Patty a $220,000 30-year mortgage. So we got different things going on. So the loan amount right here. The loan amount is $220,000. The time involved, T is 30 years. Do you guys know how many months that is? You're going to need to know in a minute here. Yeah, 30 times 12 is 360 months. So 360 months. That's the number of payments you're going to have to make. <laughs> That's a lot of payments. Okay, so... And then the APR is 3.17%. Okay, that's the, the APR. So we'll write that down, 3.17%. So I always read the problem here and understand what's going on. You need to know the loan amount, the length of time in terms of months, and you need to know the APR. The credit union offers up to four points that will reduce her APR by a quarter of a percent per point. That part's important. So let's write, let's underline that part. This is the reduction. Okay, so the uh, you can so this person can offer up or can get up to four points worth either one point buy down the loan using one point two points three points all the way up to four. Each point will cost one percent of the loan value. So remember that one point equals one percent of the loan value. 
or the loan of the loan amount, excuse me. Okay, so remember that, that's the cost of the loan. This is cost. Okay, and then what we wanna do, uh, oh, and right here it says, Patty is considering buying three points. Okay, so we need to know that. So she's gonna be buying three points worth to bring down the interest rate. So we gotta figure out what the new APR is. Okay, so the first thing we do is we figure out uh, the new APR. So let's do that first. So new APR. Now this is just like number one that we did earlier. And this is where I would like, like your help here. So Garrett, uh, can you help me out a little bit here? Share your thinking on this. How would we calculate the APR, the new APR on this one if she's considering buying three points to bring down the interest rate? Um, is it gonna be 3.17? Um, minus four or three, three, three and times then times 0.25. There you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on that and let me know what you're coming up with. I got 2.42. All right, very good. So 2.42%, that's the new APR. So we got to figure out her monthly payments. It says calculate her monthly payments with the points. It says with, underline the word with, okay? When it's, but that means that we're considering the points that she pays off the loan or pays off the, or buys down the interest rate. That's what I meant to say. All right, and then uh, part B says without the points. So old APR. So basically what we just did earlier on the previous problem. So let's go off to the side and let's use our monthly payment formula twice. Okay, now we're gonna start off with the, the new APR. So new APR, which we just calculated is 2.42%. And then we'll do the part B here in a minute. So let's get started. Here comes the multi payment formula again, same thing. Okay, you want to take your loan amount, which in this case is 220,000. Multiply it by R divided by N. So that's 0 0.04 or 0 0.0242 divided by 12, because this is a monthly uh, payment. So you always divide it by 12 for monthly. Okay, times one plus 0 0.0242 divided by 12 raised to some power. Mm. What power do we use? So this is a 30 year loan. So what power do we raise it to you guys? 360, remember you always raise it to the NT power, okay? N is equal to 12 in this case, T is 30. So 30 times 12 is 360 months. So put, raise it to the 360th power, divided by one plus 0 0.0242 divided by 12 to the 360th power and then subtract one. Okay, so we need to work on this in decimal. So go down to the next line here, enter that in. You could copy and paste the previous formula if you want, or you can simply type it in, okay? It doesn't matter. So go ahead and work on that. Connor, what are you what are you coming up with on this one? Okay, let me know when you're ready, bud.
Okay, so that that number doesn't make sense. So, yeah. Can you see mine? My calculation here. You got uh, you got to check your numbers and check your parentheses. I'm not done with mine yet. Can you guys put your answers in the chat? What are you guys coming up with on this one to the nearest penny? Let's let's all double check each other here. Yeah, that happens, right? So whenever you get a, an answer that doesn't make sense, because it's got to be a bigger number, right? Okay. Is everybody else coming up with that too? Okay. All right. So uh, eight eight hundred sixty bucks and fourteen cents. So ah, uh, come on. Da -da -da -da. Okay. So I'm coming up with that too. So eight hundred sixty dollars and fourteen cents. This is with the uh, with the, this is with using the new APR with the points, okay, with the points, which means we're buying down the interest rate to reduce the monthly payment. Now, Part B is this calculator payment without the points. That means using the old APR, okay. So using the APR, uh, the original APR, which in which is right up here, three point one seven five percent, okay. So what we need to do is do that again. We need to work on this one. So let's calculate another one here. Same equation. So copy paste your formulas in Desmos, but change your APR. 0 0.0317 divided by 12 times one plus 0 0.0317 divided by 12 to the 360th power. Again, it's the same thing, but with a different APR. So usually when I do this on my own, which I do everything that I assign, as I copy paste formula. So when you go to Desmos, copy the one above that you just used, control C, and then paste it in the bottom one and then modify it. Okay, so everybody start working on that. This is a higher interest rate, so we should expect a bigger number. Okay, it better be bigger than 860 bucks. Because it's a higher interest rate. This is why people buy down the interest rate is because it you're going to save money on a monthly basis. So 0 0.317, 0 0.0317. Caitlin, can you help me out with this one when you're ready? For the second one, right? Yeah, for the, the old... Uh, the old APR, the original APR, 3.17%. It should give us a bigger number than 860 bucks. You know, you, your audio is cut now. Can you just type it in the chat for me? That would probably be easier. Okay, and Justin's agreeing with you. Okay, so... Uh, so $947.82, let me finish mine up too. Okay, so here we go, I agree with you guys. So 947.82. All right, so check this out. So if you buy down the, the interest rate, it'll cost you money, but it's gonna save you money per month. It's gonna go from 947 per month to 860 per month. So you have a monthly savings there. The question is, is where's the break even point? You know, where, when do you actually start um, saving money? Because it's going to cost you, cost you money to do this. In fact, we, we need to cost, we need to figure this out. We got to figure out the cost of the loan. So to figure out the break even month, we figure, we have to figure out the cost first. Okay. And we did this earlier. So let's do this together. We're, she's buying three points. So I need some help on this. How do we figure out the cost of the loan? So maybe Ethan, can you help me out with this one? She wants, she's going to use, uh, or she's going to buy three points to bring down this interest rate. So what's, what's it going to cost her? I'm not even like sure how to go about that. So what do, what's the first step? Okay. So let's go back to a previous problem. So like in number one, so let's say part B here, let's look at part B. If, if you want to buy down the loan using two points, if you purchase two points, two points is 2%. And so you got to take 2% of your loan value. Right, so if the other one's 
three points and that's three percent right yeah let me go back to the original so this is our problem here so she's going to buy three points so she's going to have to pay three percent of the purchase price so right. how do you cal how do you calculate that um let me see it's going to cost her three percent of the loan value so three percent of the loan amount so is is that the two hundred twenty thousand? right so what's three percent as a decimal uh 0.03 okay so what's three percent of two it says okay. 220,000 so when you're when you're ready you can help me out with that I got 6,600. That's right. So it's gonna cost her $6,600. The question is, is like, when when does she start, when does she pay off the 6,600 and start saving, actually saving? Cause she's got to pay that money back. I mean, she's, she's got to get it back. So what we need to do now to figure out the break even month. So this is the, the new question right here, the break even month. When she starts actually, she gets all her money back the $6,600 back and she starts actually making or saving money each month. So to answer that question though, guys, we need to figure out the monthly savings. And the monthly savings is by using these numbers over here off to the right, okay? And we did this earlier, we did it in number two, okay? We did it in number two. You gotta subtract the, the, the monthly payments the new payment, the old payment, and then you're gonna get how much you're saving per month. So can someone help, help me out with that? Who would like to take that one here? What would be the monthly savings if we reduce the interest rate? Mateo, is that for this problem here? Yeah, I think so. For number six, yeah. You're talking about the savings, right? Like the difference yeah. between the two. Yeah, so nine forty seven eighty two minus the the eight sixty fourteen. Nine forty seven eight six. Oh, why do I have eight fifty six seventy four? Hold on. It's okay. We're just comparing values here. Do you agree with the other students? Just redo it, it's probably a calculator error. Yeah, probably. So I'll do it too. So 947.82 minus the 860. Oh, I got I got 856.74 um, for the with for the with the points so i'm trying to figure out where i went wrong on that yeah it's probably a digit off like it happened to uh, other me and other people so you gotta just check your digits you probably got them reversed <laughs> okay so the monthly savings is 87.68 though all right this is 87.68 this is per month okay every month you're going to save this now we haven't answered the question yet so let's go back to the question it says when's the break even month the break even month is when you pay off the $6,600 and then you actually start saving. So how do you figure that out? How do you figure out after how many months you pay off your $6,600? Because remember, you had to get that, you guys, you have to give that up front. You got to pay the bank $6,600 to do this up front in the beginning of the loan. Okay, and then after a while, because you're saving $87.68 every month, Pretty soon you're gonna get your money back, right? Well, the question is when? And that's called the break-even month, when you when you get your money back and then you actually start saving. So how how would we how would we approach that? I have like a, some ideas from you guys. So break-even month. Um, I just divided the 6,600 by the 
cost by the difference between the two months. Okay, so let's run with that idea. Okay, so if you're saving $87.68 per month, so $87.68 per month, and you multiply it by you know, some number of months, so a number of months, which maybe we can call that X maybe, all right, we pretty soon, that's gonna be equal to $6,600. And what Mateo just said was basically the solution to this equation right here. He said, take $6,600 divided by the monthly savings, which is how you solve this equation, and then you'll get some, some value of number of months because after after some number of months you're gonna you're gonna get your money back does that make sense you guys okay so when we solve this equation we get to divide by 8768 so go ahead and do that it'll be a decimal but we'll round it all right because this you know x should be you know a whole number probably can you guys do that and uh, just you can round it to the nearest tenth that'd be fine you don't have to be more precise than that What are you guys coming up with right there? 75 point what? Okay, so 75.2 roughly. So 75.2 months. So after 75 months, <clears throat> you will get, well, at maybe 76 months. So in the 76 month, you will get your money back and then you will start saving, uh, saving here. So the it's between the 75th and the 76th month, she will break even. Then after that, she will be start being saving money. So the break even month, to answer the question, is the 75th <clears throat> between actually, all right, between the 75th and the 76th month, uh, she will get uh, all her money back. Uh, her money back. We're talking about the sixty-six hundred dollars, the sixty-six hundred bucks back. Okay, and start saving money again. So remember, this this is the way it works. So as you guys just finish your notes here, you you have to if you're going to reduce the interest rate to save money over time, you got to pay up front. And this, this loan, if, or in this situation here, it's gonna cost her $6,600 upfront in the beginning to bring down her interest rate. So she's gotta get her money back. And the way that happens is, is that she saves 75, uh, excuse me, $87.68 per month. And sooner or later, all right, she's gonna get that money back because she saves 87.68 per month, every month. And then pretty soon between the 75th month and the 76 months, she's going to get all that money back. And then after that point, which is called the break-even month, you know, the 76 months is actually the break-even month. This is this one here. Uh, she will be making money or saving money exactly $87.68 every month for the rest of the loan. And remember, this loan, uh, this loan is a 30-year loan. It's a 360-month loan. So from the 76th month all the way to the 360th month, she will be saving not quite a hundred bucks, but almost 90 bucks every month, which is a lot of money over time. Do you guys see that in your mind? Because she has a lot of months remaining because it goes, this is a 360 month loan. So from the 76 month all the way to the 360 month, she's going to be saving uh, roughly 90 bucks, almost $90 every month. Give me a thumbs up or down if that makes sense. On screen too, I'm looking at everybody here. And again, this is, I'm, I'm going slow on this because you guys obviously have never done this before because you, you're too young. You haven't bought a house before, but I've bought, I've been through three different homes uh, throughout my years that I've bought and sold. And, and all this stuff is applicable. And I had to figure this stuff out when I was considering loans. I just did this to refinance a few months ago with my wife. Okay, let me, let me pause because I've said a lot. Any, any questions come up? Because Mateo had some good questions earlier. Did any thoughts pop up that you're interested in or you're thinking about?
Now, number six and seven are related, okay? They're similar. So six uh, is similar to seven. These are similar. Uh, as you're going to see right here, there's a situation in number seven. This is a uh, six and seven are good test questions, just so you know. So put TQ in the margin here. I like number seven because uh, it's it asks you to... Well, let's read it. So National Savings Bank approved Caroline for a $300,000 12-year loan. APR is 3.875%. Should Caroline purchase one point or no points? Each point lowers the APR by uh, one-eighth of a percent, which is 0.125%, and costs 1% of a loan. Justify your thinking. Ooh. Well, my friends, to answer that question, you have to do everything that we just did in number six. This is a great free response question coming up. And I'm going to give you guys something like this uh, this weekend. Your quiz on your last quiz before the test will be on Monday, but I'll publish it on uh, for tomorrow to give you guys Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and also Monday to, to do it because I know you guys got a lot of other things to do. But that right there is a great free response question. Not a not a select response like we, you know, because our tests are two part. Some might typically give you guys a free response portion and then a selected response, multiple choice. But that right there, that's a great question for a free response. And it, and it obviously incorporates everything you learned in number six. So let's do this. Um, I'm gonna give you guys the, <clears throat> hang on, let me just, Think about this here. Let me see. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to draw a line uh, after number eight. I want you guys to finish seven and eight. This the seven and eight are on your own. I'm not going to worry about nine and on. Okay. Uh, the the answers. You know where the answers are. So you got to check your answers with the publisher make sure you do that if you're not getting the correct results i'm available today in intervention okay this is the last lesson of the year so let's end on a good note make sure you're able to do these you'll have a quiz that will be published tomorrow that you'll have the entire weekend to do not that it's long it's not long so don't don't misinterpret me here i'm just giving you a lot of time uh it'll be your last free response quiz on section uh it'd be sections four and five combined one question on four one question on five I'll get that graded as soon as you guys submit it. And then I'll publish the review as well. We'll, we'll make a note here uh, that chapter, uh, the chapter seven test, let's put it at the top, chapter seven test, be Thursday of next week. So next, whoops, next week on Thursday. Uh, only covers the sections that we've covered. So sections one, we skipped two. So one, three, four, and five. So there's only four sections in chapter seven. So this test will be fairly short. Uh, so free response quiz over the weekend on sections four and five. And then you'll, I'll publish a review too. So look out for a review to help you guys prepare and everything. Test next week and then the next weekend, I'll put out the final review, which covers all the chapters we did in second semester. And I'll give you that early, obviously, so we have time to work on it and get ready for the final. Okay, so you don't have too much to do. You have to do number three. That was on your own. Number three and uh, four. That's it. And then number seven and eight. <clears throat> Any questions? Because I want to give you the next 15 minutes to work on this, and I'm just going to walk around the room and watch, help you guys out here. I can also help you guys out here if you guys stay online. If you don't, uh, you can always get help with me today, later today, between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. during the intervention time. Especially if you're not getting the answers from the publisher, <laughs> definitely come in, okay? And I'll help you guys solve the last few homework problems. Any questions or needs online before I let you go? Give me some feedback either on the screen or in the chat, one of the two. Alyssa, I see you. Rebecca. Justin. Okay. You're welcome to stay online. I'll, I'll keep it open if you want, or you can log out. Totally up to you. And again, I'm available today in intervention. 
Take the next 15 minutes to do this key problem right here, number seven, number seven and number eight. And if you if you're not getting the correct answers, let me know right now, and I'll I'll help you guys out on that. Okay, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you either in intervention or um, or later on, one of the two. And you guys can log out here if you want, because I'm here. I can help you personally. Okay. Now remember the the answers are in the first module. Okay. And so as you do number seven and number eight or any of those that you're working on here, check the answers immediately. And if you're not a, if you don't agree with those, you're not coming up with those. <laughs> speak up. Okay. And I'll help you out. And of course, you guys can work together if you like. Yeah, of course. 